Hey guys and welcome to my first video that I'll be making in this Halloween series. I know it's kind of weird a guy doing a video like this but guys can like Halloween and getting cosy in autumn and stuff too. So I just thought I'd put some stuff out there that I enjoy, some little projects, that sort of thing leading up to the big day. So I thought I'd start big and today is going to be a haul video. Most of the stuff that I've got is going to be from HomeSense. Now HomeSense is, is mainly all from theirs, it's the only place that's really stuck in anything kind of festive for Halloween or autumn at the moment. Um, so I literally went Went in yesterday, saw so much stuff, just picked everything up that I could. Uh, I know for a fact I'll be heading back and getting more. So yeah, let's let's uh, get stuck in. Okay, so the first things that I noticed, um, which I think I've seen in a lot of videos, especially from like America and stuff, which I haven't really seen much of that we have here in the UK, is these these pumpkins. Now these are both like mercury glass pumpkins. Uh, they were only three ninety nine each. Um, so I picked one up in orange and I picked a, a clear one up. I think most of the stuff will either be going kind of in the living room or in the bedroom or in my bedroom sorry and um, just to kind of make it feel a little bit more like autumn so if I keep dipping out of frame it's because everything's down here now uh, the next thing I picked up was this one uh, it's another another mercury glass pumpkin uh, slightly bigger and um, the stem kind of has like these gem things on which I'm not too keen on and um, but it actually had a hole in the bottom so I managed to get like a pound off of it and um, so I thought what the hell might as well pick that up as well I also picked this up as well it's a uh, mercury glass owl I just thought it looked really cool this again was 3 99 sorry the pumpkin I just uh, picked up was I got for seven pounds uh, that was that was reduced by a pound I actually have a other owl that I bought from Matalan a couple of years ago uh, which is very very similar and um, but it's quite small so these two together together look absolutely perfect. Okay so the next thing I picked up was this pumpkin spice candle. Now this was $7.99 um, and it's a wood wick um, so it's not like your conventional candle I guess. It's pumpkin spice finest elixirs. I must admit I've kind of burnt it a couple of times and it is quite strong so I think you only really need to do it for I'd, I'd probably say just until the top layer of wax has kind of have burnt. Um, if you do much more than that it can get a little bit overpowering so I think this will definitely be one that lasts right up until Halloween. Um, on the subject of candles then, um, I picked this up. Um, it's like a metal lantern, corrugated metal with a gold metallic interior. It's got just a little holder at the bottom, I don't know whether you can see, just for tea lights. This is going to look awesome lit up. I haven't had a chance to have a look at it just yet, but I just know for a fact it's going to look wicked. Um, they did have bigger ones, this one was $3.99. Um, for this size, they had a bigger one which was $5.99 so I don't know whether I'll pick the two up I, I literally got there, I picked up as much as I could because I had to walk home with it and walk through town with it I couldn't get that much Going into the bag now because I had to take all these out um, I picked up this as well, um, it's just like a little rustic tea light holder with like a jack-o'-lantern face on Again, similar sort of thing, I just know it's going to look awesome with the tea light in um, and it just looked really old and vintage so I really like the look of that and um, this was 3 99 as well now these next things I was really excited to see that uh, we had actually in the UK because and um, the Halloween hauls that I've seen so far have been from people kind of in America seeing getting things from Michaels that sort of thing and we don't actually have a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or those sort of stores I mean we have Hobby Craft I guess that's our equivalent but yeah I saw these from in um, from hauls that were coming from Michaels in America and they're just these wooden signs and they, this one says Happy Haunting, it just has a bat on and they had other ones with skulls and stuff uh, other things that kind of had a bit more floral, like uh, a floral pattern on and um, so they were a bit more feminine than I think I'd have liked so I didn't pick those up um, but I think I'm planning on heading back with the missus so I'm sure when we go back she'll probably pick some things up uh, along those lines and the last two things from HomeSense uh, again are very similar to the last, last thing uh, just wooden blocks um, this was $2.99, that last wooden block was uh, $5.99. This just says Happy Halloween, just something I thought I could just kind of put amongst objects, especially next to the pumpkins, I think will look quite nice. And this as well, it's got another bat on, it just says The Witch Old Fashioned Apothecary, I believe that's how you say it, Blanched Bats, and this was $2.99 as well. And they did have other designs, there were some other ones that kind of like said zombie virus and that sort of thing, but I'm trying to keep it quite like vintage and um, classy I guess guests this year. I do apologise for that, that was just um, my air freshener going off. The other things that I'm kind of going to include in this haul are either what I've bought online or just kind of in the past couple of months or so that I think are quite relevant to Halloween. So every year I do make it a bit of a tradition to pick up a Yankee candle. Now usually I go for the trick or treat 
a candy corn and buttercream candle, but they didn't have any online that were kind of a reasonable price. I'd be in, like paying import charges from America and it was becoming quite pricey. So I just picked up this. This is just uh, the candy corn medium jar Yankee candle. It's, yeah, it smells absolutely lovely. Um, I make sure I get one of these every year. I actually got bought one last year um, and that's just recently ran out so I thought I'd definitely pick up another one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to start burning it though until kind of mid-September, that sort of time when it is getting a little bit more festive. This, I really do apologise, I got from a shop in Brighton. I recently went to Brighton with some friends and it just says palmistry guide. I'm not too sure obviously how well you can make that out. It's got a hand with like all the anatomy and like star signs and stuff on. I just love stuff like this and I've been looking for kind of like a saint candle and um, like kind of long in the tall glass. I'm not going to burn it but it's just kind of in my room at the moment and I just, I don't know, I love all this sort of stuff, you know, like old Ouija boards, anatomy, that sort of thing. I believe this was 4 99 as well. If I can remember the name of the, the Brighton store, I will post it, but I do apologise, it's completely gone. These are actually from Topman. I've only got two, two pairs of these to show you because I was so excited when I saw them, I started wearing them immediately. But they had their Halloween socks. Now, every year they seem to kind of release a few Halloween items, whether it's like t-shirts, socks, uh, sweatshirts, that sort of thing, and I always try and pick up whatever I can, but I can remember last year I did miss the socks, and they were quite pricey, I think. Uh, they were kind of like five pounds a pair. Now, they recently had a sale, just to try and get rid of, obviously, loads of old stock, and they had a whole section and shelving unit full of Halloween socks and they were all reduced to a pound, so I picked up every style that they had. So they had eyeballs, uh, like cats, um, there's a mummy that I had, skeletons on there, um, I believe there's a jack-o'-lantern one, and um, some aliens. So I literally cleared that out, and I think the guy looked at me a little bit weird, because um, it was, yeah, we're talking like July time, I was picking up Halloween socks, it was mental. But hey-ho. Next two items are from Urban Outfitters. Again, not exclusively Halloween items, but I picked these up in the last couple of months. I do think they have quite a nice Halloween theme to them. Okay, so there are these two notebooks. Uh, this one's got uh, a metallic crescent on it. Um, and some clouds and then this is just some uh, spooky looking trees. Again these were picked up in the sale, they were supposed to be 8 99 each but I managed to pick these up for a fiver each so I got these two for £10. I do like to keep notes and, and, and such so I think these will be great and as, especially as I'm planning to do plenty more of these videos I think they'll be quite cool to log some uh, potential ideas. And the last thing um, in this haul, I hope this hasn't gone on too long, um, is this book that I ordered from Amazon. Now this is one of two books that I've ordered, uh, the other has still yet to arrive but I do believe that's probably coming from America. And it's called Creating Your Vintage Halloween, The Folklore Traditions and Some Crafty Makes. And it's by Mariam Paul and basically it's just full of uh, little bits of information about Halloween, kind of the origins, because of this uh, cool little like gift tag bookmark thing so if you want to gift it to someone there's that attached little ideas of obviously what you can do for decorations outside inside that sort of thing it's just a really lovely book I'm, um, I'm probably about a quarter of a way through just kind of reading it a little bit before bed finding out a little bit more about the holiday it's it's a really nice little thing to do and yeah it's it's a lovely well put together book I definitely recommend getting it and it wasn't too pricey I believe I managed to get it kind of second hand off Amazon and um, so it only cost me like four pounds including delivery um, but on the back it does say it's 9 99 so I don't know whether you pick it up retail or um, in a shop or, or if you do order online and um, if it'll be any different so yeah um, that concludes my haul then so that's everything that I've bought so far I do know it is quite early so I know for a fact that um, me and my girlfriend have planned another day just to exclusively go out and get Halloween stuff big up car boot sailing all that sort of stuff but I do really love this time of year so if you liked what you saw please comment below and give this video a like and that's it Thanks guys, bye!